It is Friday night, February the 9th. We welcome you to H.H. H. Dow High School as our weekend of high school sports continues here on MPS TV. It's time for a boys varsity basketball as the H.H. H. Dow High Chargers play host to the Midland High Chemex. Alongside Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper and Tom tonight. We've got a rematch of a game that went to overtime back in December. The uh, Dow High Chargers uh, came away with a victory back then. Now we are here in February and we are set to go with the second matchup between the Chargers and the Chemex. There we are on camera. That's yeah. Tom Bell. My name is Jason Harper. Chemex and the Chargers round number two here at Saginaw Valley League Basketball. What should we expect tonight? Uh, this will be a cl close game. Both teams are right around 500 for the season and right around 500 in the Valley. And you've got Dow playing at home. I think uh, some of the people might think that Midland is favored a little bit, but I don't think so. I think we're going to have just a really, really good game tonight. Let's turn things over to our public address announcer, Jason Jahowski. Now the starters for tonight's contest, and we are uh, set to go. The Dow High Pet Band in the background, nice and loud. And it's time for high school basketball here on MPS TV and MCTV. Jason Harper, Tom Bell, Statman, Jeff Yoder. Pet Band's loud. you got to love the atmosphere. You do, and we've got all the fans right across the court from us. A lot of of us against them, huh? A lot of fans braving the uh, bad weather in order to uh, make it here for the contest here tonight. The tip-off is going to go all the way down to the far end, and the Dow High Chargers will control the tip. Dow High, their starting five, Ben Seitler, Mitchell Hayes, Thomas Oakley, Isaac Molinar, and Jacob Stone. Midland High countering with Al Money, Martin Money, Garrett Willis, Henry Kessler, and Isaiah Bridges. Dow High. Looking to go for a three-pointer off the bat and counted. Ben Seitler hitting the three-pointer. The Dow High Chargers able to score first in the contest. And Midland High uh, didn't have an awful lot of trouble with their press. They sh sh shot by Willis uh, along the baseline, and we got a three-to-two a uh, game with Dow in the lead. Dow High working the ball to Jacob Stone. Now to Mitchell Hayes. Hayes takes a couple of dribbles. Hayes with a bounce pass over to Molinar. Molinar had a great game the last time these two teams met. Ben Zeitler now works the ball back to Molinar. Molinar goes over to Oakley. 
Oakley's a senior on this Dow High Charger team. Get, can't get the shot to go. And the Midland High Chemex able to get the rebound. Now Midland High will work the ball down to a Martin Money. Feeds it over to Al. Now working back to Isaiah Purchase who goes underneath. And the Chargers where they block. Not sure if it was uh, Stone or Hayes. I think it was Stone that got a hand on that ball. We should see a lot of that looking for Isaiah Bridges along the, the lower block. Uh, I think that's where uh, Midland High is going to see a, uh, a lot of points, whether it's with Bridges on that side or they can drop Willis down along the baseline. Just underway with boys basketball here on MCTV. Martin Money drives in. Nice pass by Money, but the shot from Garrett Willis does that go. Willis, the leading scorer for this Midland High Kimmick team. Now the Chargers will work the basketball. Ben Feitler with the dribble at the top of the key, feeds it over to Mitchell Hayes. Hayes has battled a back injury throughout the season, but it's close to 100%. Molinar from the top of the key. Count the three-pointer, Isaac Molinar with the basket and the Dow High Chargers with a 6-2 lead early on in this contest. 5.45 yet to go. Three-pointer by Al Money. He's just a freshman, was off the mark. Three-pointer by Garrett Willis. If not, the senior Willis hitting the three-pointer. The team's training baskets early on. Dow High six, Midland High five. Five and a half minutes to go here in the first. Both teams are pretty comfortable uh, shooting from outside the arc. Chargers now working the ball to Zeitler. Zeitler at the top of the key, feeds it to Mitchell Hayes. Now working over on to Molinar, and a block there underneath Isaiah Bridges coming up with the block for Midland. Feeds it ahead, Garrett Willis, that three-pointer is off the mark, out of bounds, Midland High will keep possession, doesn't go out, a great job of saving it. Willis will go to the free throw line. Underneath, Mitchell Hayes will commit the foul for the Chargers, and that will put Garrett Willis on the free throw line for Midland. Now, those that have seen Dow play earlier in the year, uh, they may notice someone is not there. Zach Chichester is is uh, is uh, dressed to play tonight, but it did not start. Uh, the 6'6 uh, kind of wing player uh, has been nursing an injury, a leg injury. And uh, he might see some playing time here and there, but we'll just have to wait and see. He did warm up. He was listed as questionable coming into the contest. He did warm up, but did not start. So we'll keep an eye on that for Mark Dickerson, Dow High Chargers. As a three-pointer taken by Dow High does not fall. Garrett Willis will pull down the rebound for Midland. Isaiah Bridges underneath, can't get the shot to go. Stone has played great defense, and we've got a foul called. Jacob Stone, in the opening moments of the game, the 6'6 junior, has been busy underneath and has played very well. Midland High inbounds to Willis, and Stone will commit a foul. That will send Garrett Willis back to the free throw line. Willis averaging 17 points a game for the Midland High Chemex, coming up a big game where he had 20 points against Davison. Last time, Dow High limited Willis to only 10 points in the first meeting back in December. Garrett Willis on the free throw line gives Midland High their first lead of the game early on here tonight. Chemex by one with four and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Jacob Stone will work out to Ben Feitler. Now back to Thomas Oakley. Oakley will feed it to Feitler. He's a senior on this Dow High team made up of juniors and seniors. A good mix that you want if you're coach Mark Dickerson. Hayes will feed it to Feitler. Three-pointer from the top of the key. Oh. Count it. Ben Feitler hitting the three for the Chargers. Dow High back on top, 9-7, to seven, four minutes to go in the first quarter. Dow's got to feed the hot hand. Uh, Zeitler's uh, two for two on threes. Henry Kessler has the ball blocked away if he tried to pass. Money able to recover, and Money will send it off of Hayes out of bounds. And that was smart, because Money, if he had picked up the ball, you would have had a double team in the corner. Very difficult spot for that. So very heads-up play to do that right away. 
John White will check into the game for the Midland High Kimmix. Nice pass inside to Bridges, but Bridges finds himself blocked. Jacob Stone has had two or three blocks already in the first half of this game. Hayes feeding underneath now Zeitler, working the ball back up to Molinar. Feeding to Zeitler, goes back inside, working back out. Back and forth they go, inside, outside for the Chargers. Zeitler can't get the three-pointer to go. White will get the rebound for Midland. Two-point Dow high lead. We're about a little more than halfway through the first quarter. Garrett Willis forcing a shot up. That is no good. Stone will have the rebound for the Chargers. Not much of an opportunity for Willis. Thought about the three, now decides to take the three. A little bit too hard. And the rebound by White, who has played well, coming off the bench of the sixth person for Eric Krause. And the Midland High Chemex, and oh, an almost a nice steal underneath. Good defense by Oakley. Well, I think Midland continue, has to continue to try to look for Bridges on the block. He gives up about two inches on Stone. Uh, Bridges about 6'4", Stone's about 6'6". Six, six. But uh, he's got a nice outside shot, too. There's a nice outside shot. Isaiah Bridges, the junior, with the three-pointer for Midland High. Kimmix regaining the lead. 10-9 Midland, two and a half to go in the first quarter of this contest. that went to overtime the first time they played back in December. It was quite a rally at the end of the fourth quarter for Dow to catch up in that one. We've got a kicked ball, so Dow High will keep possession. Midland High is going to bring Mason Pilgrim into the game. The junior will replace Al Money. Dow High will inbound the ball to Oakley. Chargers, a team that's had good games. They've had bad games throughout the season. They had a big win over Saginaw early on in the season. As a three-pointer misses, and the rebound pulled down by Martin Money, who isn't afraid to throw an elbow <laughs> now or then. As long but as he keeps him low. <laughs> he's, he's a strong guy. You, you don't want to tango with Money. There's no doubt about that. Bridges with the ball. Now they're going to yeah. call over and back. He could not establish his feet. He tried to jump over, but the feet were not established, so the turnover will give Dow High the basketball back. Yeah, I don't think Money expected the outlet to go right to him while he's in the backcourt. So. For Mark Dickerson and the Dow High Chargers, Tom, this is a team, as mentioned, they have played well against some teams. They've had some disappointing games. It's kind of been a, a very odd back-and-forth season. You know, a big one against Midland, a big one against Saginaw, but they also, as they drive to the bucket and Jacob Stone gets the bucket, Dow High also has a couple of uh, losses to some B and C teams like Meridian and Beaverton. Yeah, Meridian was kind of a peculiar one. They're going to call that one on the floor, I believe. Isaiah Bridges wanted to get the bucket to count, but it wasn't. It was on the floor before the shot. So continue that thought, Tom. Yeah, with, with uh, Meridian, uh, Dow never shot a free throw in the whole game, which was very unusual. And uh, Dow lost by one. Mark Dicker said was very outspoken, uncharacteristically outspoken, about that loss following the game. Well, they don't have to be even, but uh, to have one team not ever go to the line, that's very rare. John White working the ball for Midland, now to Pilgrim. Pilgrim goes inside to Bridges, quickly back out over to Henry Kessler. Kessler's three-pointer no good, rebound is off of Dow, so Midland will have the ball underneath their own basket. A minute to play here in the first quarter. One-point lead for the Chargers. This is as close as we thought it would be. Kessler with the ball goes inside to Bridges. Bridges goes out. I think everybody expected Bridges to go up with the shot. He decides not to. They'll work it inside to White. White goes back out to Pilgrim. Chargers with a strong defense in the paint. Midland High will have to settle for an outside shot. It's no good. Rebound out of bounds. It'll be Charger basketball. Dow's doing a good job at contesting shots in this first quarter. Uh, Midland hasn't seen an awful lot of good looks. One out-of-bounds play to Bridges 
in, in my recollection, has been the best open shot that Midland High has gotten. 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Teitler thought about the shot, goes inside. Bridges will knock it away. Midland will have a chance for the final shot. They're not going to wait for that. They tried to feed it underneath, but ball goes out of bounds. Midland will have time to set something up with 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Dow High is going to bring Hayes and Oakley back in. Yeah, that, that was a, a good hustle play by Zeitler to uh, knock that ball out of bounds. Inbound will go to Kessler. He's a junior on a Midland High team that only features four seniors. The rest are juniors besides Al Money, who is a starting freshman. Pilgrim with the ball. Final second for the first quarter. Clock down to five, four, three. Good defense by Dow High. Long shot by Garrett Willis, and the shot is no good. The first quarter coming to an end with the Dow High Chargers on top, 11 to 10 over the Midland High Chemics. Glad you are with us here on MPS TV. Great staff and volunteer crew by MCTV bringing high school sports into your living room and bringing you into the Dow High huddle where Mark Dickerson is doing the talking on the opposite side. Eric Krause talking to the Midland High Chemics. Midland coming into this game 6-8 and eight overall. They are three and four in the Saginaw Valley. The Dow High Chargers seven and seven overall, four and four in the Saginaw Valley. Both of these teams right in that middle of the pack when it comes to uh, Saginaw Valley basketball. And uh, talking to Eric Krause, he says his team is just that close, and I've got my fingers about an inch apart, just that close to really breaking it open. But his team has just got to try to find their identity. He thinks they're really close to that. He, he has preached that Willis and Bridges need to get a, a, a more shots than a lot of the other players. And unless you got a hot hand, you go with a hot hand. But uh, they're that close to really breaking away, maybe contesting some of the stronger teams in the Valley. Well, we talked about the up and down season that Dow High has had. Midland High, very similar in, uh, in their season, the Midland High Kimmicks have had a couple of you know, big games, a couple of strong showings. In fact, they had a game where you know they lost only by four points to, to Mount Pleasant. And, you know, and this Midland High basketball team is a team that is, you know, they've lost, of their eight games that they've lost, seven of them were by six or fewer points, including a five-overtime loss to Flint Powers in a game for the ages down in, uh, in Flint. So you mentioned that Eric Krause feels that Midland High is right on that, you know, the verge of something good. Their record indicates that as well. Well, you've got two legit top area scorers on your team with Bridges and Willis. Uh, they, they just need to find them more often and uh, get maybe get a little more balance when the other team uh, uh, will kind of lean their way uh, defensively. Three-pointer, Al Money, no good. Rebound, pulled down by the Chargers. That looked like a good shot by Money, but uh, didn't fall. Isaac Molinar with the basketball for Dow High. He's the second scorer on this Dow High team, averaging 12 points a game at 18 the last time these two teams played. Inside, Sam Drake could not get the bounce to go for the Dow High Chargers. Midland will come back the other way. Isaiah Bridges, three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Oakley. Oakley's a good rebounder. It really helps Dow. Sam Drake is one of those players. He's somebody that Mark Dickerson has his eye on as a uh, up-and-coming player. Has earned more playing time. Going down into the paint. Battle for the ball. Midland High will come away with a steal. Nice job by Garrett Willis of hitting the floor. And a travel is going to be called on Martin Money before the contact was made. You know, sometimes, Tom, I think uh, Money relishes contact. Well, it almost looked like he got tackled. It was going to be third and four. Uh, <laughs> I think he'd be okay with that. Yeah. I, I think he thought that he could bust uh, out into the open, but uh, didn't happen. One point, Charger lead. Just over six minutes to go. We've been scoreless here in the second quarter. Oakley to Mitchell Hayes. Hayes will work the ball back out to Nick Siraki, who is 
enter the game. Now a three-pointer. No good by Hayes. Rebound is going to be Oakley that gets the board. And a foul is going to be called before Oakley could pass it to a wide open Jacob Stone. The foul is going to be called on Bridges. Only the first foul of the game against Midland High. Both teams look like they're playing more disciplined than when we saw them play earlier in the year at Midland High. Dow High with the ball to Drake. He feeds it to Soraki, who goes back out to Hayes. Hayes being guarded by Bridges, and the Chargers will look to regroup. One point lead for Dow High. Oakley, but I'll give it to Soraki. They go inside. Good hesitation by Hayes, but he can't get the shot to go. Martin Money will get the rebound for Midland. Isaiah Bridges back to Money. Feeds it over to Kessler. Al Money, Martin Money. Garrett Willis, Isaiah Bridges, foul underneath. Mitchell Hayes thought he had all ball. The official does not uh, agree. And that foul will send Isaiah Bridges to the free throw line. When I talked to Eric Krauss a uh, day or two ago, he's, he thought that uh, his team would be in good shape playing uh, this game into the 50s. Well, right now it looks like this game may go into the 30s. Uh, they're just not uh, hitting a lot of shots, but defensively, we've got some good pressure. And the team's definitely having a uh, hard time scoring here in the uh, second quarter. Isaiah Bridges averaging 15 points a game. His season high was 30 against Davison. He had 23 the last time Midland played down. Second free throw is good. We're all tied up. 11 to 11, just over five minutes to go. In the second quarter, a defensive battle in the first half between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Sam Drake, he's a junior, works the ball back around now to Ben Feitler. Feitler tries to go inside and unable to hold on to it is Oakley, so the Kimmicks will have the basketball. Yeah, there was an advantage there, but the, the pass just uh, eluded the fingertips. A little bit of pressure put on by the Chargers, but Midland High beating the press with no problem. Bridges looking to go coast to coast, and he will draw the foul. The foul is going to be called against Sam Drake. That's the first one on Drake, the sixth one against the Dow High Chargers, so Midland will be shooting for the Next four minutes and 40 seconds. Isaiah Bridges on the free throw line, able to get the first shot to fall. Dow High is going to bring Reed Renicky into the game for the first time. Second shot is good for Bridges and Garrett Willis will check back into the game for Midland. Mason Pilgrim is also going to uh, check in. Two-point Midland high lead, 13 to 11, 440 to go. And uh, what Tom anticipated to be a very close matchup. Last time they played to overtime, so no surprise that we've got a two-point game here tonight. Inside, hook shot is no good by Stone. Rebound pulled down by Keisler. He's being double teamed. They're going to say that it went off the knee of Keisler, so Dow High basketball. Well, one of the disadvantages of throwing the ball down is they could carry him right back at the player that threw it, and I think that's what happened there. Well, Isaiah Bridges was not out for very long. He is now back into the game for Midland, replacing Kessler. Chargers inbounding to Stone, who launches a three-pointer. Six foot six, and he can shoot the three as well. A great first half so far for Jacob Stone. Dow High back on top, 14 to 13, in favor of the Chargers. Four minutes to go in the half. That's a nice weapon. Yeah, when you can play defense and shoot a three-pointer all uh, in one half of play, yeah, that's pretty good. There's a rebound by Stone. Stone bringing the ball down, coast to coast, and he will draw the foul. 
Eric Kraus doesn't think so. Kraus thought it should have been a charge. Jason wildly disagrees. And as a result, it will be Jacob Stone on the free throw line for the Chargers. I think that was an excellent call by the referee. The guy was not stationary. He slid in. So the top scorer in this uh, for the Stauhide Charger team. It takes courage to get slammed by a 6'6 guy. That's true. But again, money likes that physical contact. <laughs> true, true. Dow High leading by two, 3.35 on the clock here in the second quarter. Bridges with the ball now to Martin Money. Money takes a nice screen before going back to John White. White finds himself double teamed, looking for the corner. Now double teamed in the corner of Pilgrim. No place to go, so he has to force the ball off of a uh, Dow High player. And when you're double teamed and you're just a few feet away from the Dow High student section. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, you hear a lot of things, too, that uh, aren't picked up by our mics. Which is probably a good thing. That's also a very good thing. Inbound. Uh, well, Millen High got it back. Very luckily. John White with the ball. Now goes back to Pilgrim. Over to Isaiah Bridges. Garrett Willis. Couple of dribbles, and Willis traveled. Some of the best plays are illegal. <laughs> now, the, N the NBA, you might have been able to get away with that. Zeitler with the ball for the Chargers. Now to Oakley. Nick Siraki has got the ball now for the Chargers. And an offensive foul called away from the ball against Renneke. You know what's really weird about this game? That it was six to five before you could blink. And then that you had a three, a three, a two, and a three. And all of a sudden, everything has basically stood still offensively. And neither team really has been very effective. Yeah, things have uh, slowed way down since the uh, opening of this contest. Underneath, battle for the basketball. Dow High will come away with it. Oakley comes up with the basketball. Three-pointer by Stone, no good. Bridges will have the board for Midland High. 2.20 to go. There's a beautiful steal by Ben Seitler, who will go the rest of the way. Seitler lays it in for the Dow High Chargers. Could this be the biggest lead of the game? I points. believe I believe it is. <laughs> 17 to 13 yeah. in favor of Dow. Two minutes to go in the half. Money works over to Bridges. Feeds it now to John White. White takes a couple of dribbles back to Money. Bounce pass inside to Willis. Willis nice. able to go up it over top of Oakley. And a nice move by the senior, Garrett Willis. He was able to turn and find an opening. Two-point Dow High lead, 135 to go here in the first in the second quarter. Seitler, three-pointer in and out. Money rips the rebound away from Bridges, and the Kimmicks will come down. Plenty of time on the clock. Going inside to Bridges. Nice move, but he can't get the bucket to go, but he does get the put back. Nice. He just wanted a rebound stat to add up. <laughs> Isaiah Bridges has yeah. tied the game up. 17 to 17 with a minute five to go. He's quite a ways from a double double. <laughs> well, you got to start somewhere. You do. There's a great steal by Mason Pilgrim. Pilgrim, coast to coast, will get the foul. Pilgrim will go to the free throw line. That was great uh, aggressive defense. We've seen a couple of uh, great defensive plays, one by Dow, one by Midland. Yes. Here in the, uh, the final minute of the second quarter. Mason Pilgrim able to hit the first free throw. There's a look at the uh, scores table. 
Pilgrim had a good night the last time these two teams met. Uh, really handled the ball well. Um, didn't score as much as I think uh, Eric Krause would have liked, or the game wouldn't have been tied at the end of uh, regulation. Well, he but, came uh, away. He finished the uh, the first game with 10 points against Dow. He did, okay. Two yep. free throws here, giving Midland High the lead. First lead for Midland in the second quarter of this contest. Feitler with the basketball. They go inside to Oakley, and Oakley goes left, goes right, and he traveled. Slid his pivot foot. 21 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Dow High presses. Midland High inbounds to Pilgrim. Pilgrim ahead. Bounce pass inside to Willis. Back out to Bridges. Bridges three-pointer counted. Isaiah Bridges hitting the three to give Midland High a five-point lead. Final seconds of the first half. Seitler feeds the ball to Molinar. Molinar with a three-pointer, <laughs> cutting the lead back down to two. The shot by Willis at the buzzer. That was a little interesting of a that shot, but it falls. Uh, yeah. yeah, no good. And we go to halftime with the Midland High Chemex on top, 22 to 20. And Tom, as you anticipated, it was uh, very much a back and forth, even matchup in the first half. Yeah, and uh, points were hard to come by through uh, the second half of the first quarter to the, uh, the middle of the second quarter. Then we had a little flourish there at the end. I had a couple of threes, uh, some free throws and stuff like that. But now it's 22-20, and uh, we're uh, looking forward to a great second half. Yeah, both coaches who are good friends, Eric Kraus, Mark Dickerson, you know that they are going to make some halftime adjustments, and we will be back in the third quarter to talk about those adjustments that will be made. It's fun so far, Tom. High school basketball here on MPS TV at halftime. It is Midland High 22, Dow High 20, the third quarter right around the corner on MPS TV. We are back just like, uh, you know, we left just a few moments ago, and here we are once again. Jason Harper, Tom Bell with you. Right, right there. Right there. <laughs> haven't, haven't moved a muscle the entire halftime. We welcome you back to MPF TV coverage of high school basketball between the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. Midland High with a 22 to 20 lead at halftime. And Tom, both coaches have had a chance to be in the locker room talking to their respective teams. Let's uh, play coach a little bit. If you're the Dow High Chargers, you played, <coughs> excuse me, a decent first half. What did Mark Dickerson talk about? Well, I, I think he's, he's going to work on uh, uh, his press. I think Dow had a lot of success pr pressing Midland early. There was one time uh, that uh, they were able to get the ball to Isaiah Bridges at half court, which kind of hurt him. And then they backed off for the press. But I think that uh, the press, whether they don't, whether if they get a steal or not, sometimes it's wearing down uh, the, the guards. And eventually, you start to pay some dividends more in the fourth quarter. On the other side of the coin, if you're uh, the Midland High Chemics, if you're Eric Krause, you've got a two-point lead. What did you talk about at halftime? Well, I, I, th I think that Midland High's got, got to look for some more of the mid-range shots. It'll draw the defense out a little bit. Right now, they're so congested underneath the basket. And Bridges uh, is having a hard time getting an open shot down on the block. A lot of what he's been able to get has been mid-range shots away from the basket. If they can pull Dow out, I think they'll have more room. Getting ready to start the third quarter. If you are just tuning in, if you want to watch this game in its entirety, start off right from the beginning. This game will be replayed all weekend long on MPS TV and MCTV on Charter Communications and on AT&T U-verse. Uh, showtime's February 10th, 8 o'clock and 8 o'clock. February 11th, 8 o'clock and 8 o'clock. Easy to remember. Take a break from the Olympics. Watch some high school basketball. We've got boys basketball, girls basketball, and hockey all airing this weekend. A big uh, week of Midland versus Dow here on MPS TV. And if you're looking for a challenge with hockey, 
keep track of the turnovers. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Halftime stats provided by Jeff Yoder doing a great job as our stat man. As always, Garrett Willis with nine points for Midland. Isaiah Bridges, the leading Kimmick score. He's got 11 points in the first half. Midland High, 7 of 10 from the free throw line. Just 6 of 23, however, from the field. For Dow High, Ben Feitler, the leading scorer, is 8 points. Molinar and Stone having 6 points each. Dow High only went to the free throw line once. They are 1 of 2, but Dow High has had 5 three-pointers in the first half. That may be the uh, the bread and butter of this Dow High Charger team, but nobody really in foul trouble, Tom, and nobody really, uh, you know, lighting things up in, in terms of scoring. <laughs> That's true. When you've got, when you're at 22-20 at halftime, uh, the top scorers are going to have uh, a pretty modest number. On the free throw line, the shot taken by Garrett Willis rolls in and rolls out. Second shot is good. We're seeing a bit of a press from Midland. The Dow High Chargers with the basketball. Isaac Molinar, three-pointer in and out, and then it falls back in. So count the basket as good for Molinar. We are all tied up, and then a steal by Molinar, who laid, oh, he doesn't get the shot to go. He does get the rebound, and Molinar will go to the free throw line, but a three-pointer, a steal, and a chance to add two more for Molinar. Did I see him selling popcorn at halftime? Do it all. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can do it all. Yeah. He's just a junior also. He is. Dow's top two scorers are both juniors, so it lends well for the future. Molinar gets the uh, shot to fall through. He had 18 points the last time that these two teams played. Dow High, a very good free throw shooting team. About 75% from the free throw line are the Chargers for their two of four today. Money goes into the paint. Now Al Money will go for the free for the three pointer. No good. Stone will get the rebound. Charger, no, the Chargers will keep it alive. Nice job there by Feitler. Feeds it to Hayes, goes back up to Stone. Good shot, but doesn't fall in. Three-pointers, no good. Bridges with the rebound. Ahead to Kessler, and the Chemex will slow things down. Stone's not your typical six-foot-six six center, is he? No, he is not. And we've got a travel on money. Now, when you've got somebody... As we mentioned in the first half, when you're 6'6", six, six, and you can hit three-pointers, you can block underneath, that's a, that's a pretty good asset to your team. And you've, you've got that player for one more year, too. If you're wondering about Zach Chichester, he has not played tonight for the Chargers. He was listed as questionable as Stone goes underneath. Great power move by Jacob Stone, getting the bucket to go. Dow High leading by three with 6.10 to go here in the third quarter. Chai Chester was lifted as questionable, but has not played here tonight due to a leg injury. Shot by Isaiah Bridges is good for Midland. And nice assist by Al Money. Kimmick's putting on the press in a one-point game here in the third quarter. They went to overtime when they played in December in a steal, and Midland High has got the basketball back just like that. Now Dow High will force the steal. Mitchell Hayes with the defensive move. And here comes Chichester. He's going to make his first entrance to the game. And we've got a foul that is going to be called on Bridges. That is the second foul of the half on the Bridges. John White comes in for Midland. In fact, Chichester, the senior for the Dow High Chargers, Chichester will make his uh, first appearance in the contest. Chichester's about 6'6", six, six, uh, tough matchup on the outside. He drives to the basket and draws the foul by Garrett Willis. I don't think Chichester is anywhere near 100%, but we saw him driving to the basket, and that is something that he has been working on throughout the, throughout the season. Yeah, and he's, he's been uh, complaining 
that uh, he's just not getting any calls when he gets slapped on the hand uh, going up for a shot, but uh, it'll come. And he is able to hit the free throw. And Eric Krause is going to call a timeout. First timeout of the game. Eric Krause is going to uh, talk things over for the Midland High Kim. Oh, no, we did have a timeout in the first half, did we not? No, we did not. Okay. No? Okay. First, uh, first timeout of the half, stopping the clock at the uh, 5.20 mark. If you take a look in the huddles, as the Midland High Kimmicks talking things over with a Dow High lead by two. This game produced by MCTV staff and volunteers. Uh, just a couple of staff. Most of the work is done by the volunteers. If you would like to become a MCTV volunteer, you can do so. All you have to do is uh, give the studio a call at 837-3474. Sign up. Become an MCTV volunteer. You can also uh, check out the uh, website, the City of Midland website. We're also on Facebook. You can uh, look us up that way. Get involved with MCTV. And uh, MCTV, located in the basement of the library, still under renovation after the uh, massive flood damage last summer. But they are getting closer and closer to getting the uh, downstairs area open. And uh, MCTV will be open for business sometime within the next couple of months. So if you attend the meeting, do they provide the rubber boots? <laughs> exactly. Okay. And the, you can canoe. Well, you can't canoe. In June, you could have canoed down there. Yeah. Sending around, Chichester shot doesn't fall through. Midland High with the basketball. Dow High leading by two. We're early in the second half of this game. Garrett Willis will go to the free throw line. Actually, they're going to call that on the floor, so he won't go to the free throw line. In the last time out, I have a feeling that Eric Krause wanted to reset his defense to make sure that they can run out on, on Zach Chichester. When he's hitting his shot, he's tough. Midland High coming away. With the steal, or the Dow High Chargers, Zeitler steals the ball. Now three-pointer taken by Mitchell Hayes. It's no good. Rebound by Molinar. Put back doesn't fall through. John White will get the rebound. Neither team shooting uh, off the charts as Zeitler comes up with a steal, but both teams are playing very good defense in the game here tonight. And that's really what's made this game so balanced. Nathan Pilgrim will check in for Midland High. Garrett Willis will take a breather. Two-point game in what can be described as a defensive battle. Yes, very definitely. Chichester drives in, doesn't get the friendly bounce, but he's there for the putback. Chichester with the bucket. He has played well. Entering the game for the Chargers. Four point Dow High lead. Now it's a one point Dow High lead. Al Money hitting the three pointer for Midland High. He hits the money shot. Dow 29, Sorry. Midland 28. <laughs> four minutes to go. I am just going to say nothing about that comment. Would have been funny you're saying that money ball, but that's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Moving on. That's probably best. We'll, mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep the FCC uh, happy, and I will not yeah. say anything. I'll keep my job as well. There we go. I, I like doing that. Midland High with the basketball. Martin Money working the ball now over to Pilgrim. 340 to go here in the third quarter. Pilgrim. Back over to John White. Now Martin Money goes to Isaiah Bridges. Long two-pointer, so good. Great rebound by Martin Money. And he is hammered by Molinar underneath. Money will go to the free throw line. I watched Martin Money just kind of mosey in underneath the basket, and it paid off. Now we yeah. talked about the, the physical prowess that Money has, but Martin Money is one of those players that he's just a, a leader, on the, on the court, he's uh, 
somebody that the other player can look to when a message needs to be delivered. He's not overly quick, but he he's a leader. He's uh, He makes some smart plays, and uh, he'll look over at the coach and says, what do you want me to do? Uh, I, I'll make this team win. And he has given Midland High the lead in this back and forth battle. Midland 30, Dow 29. And Mark Dickerson will call a timeout as Midland High had Dow High trapped and no place to go. So Dickerson says, let's talk things over. And he will take his first timeout of the game. Midland High leading by one, 322 to go here in the third quarter. There's a great look at the officiating crew on hand for this game, and of course, uh, it's been in the media recently, and I can speak from experience, such a need for high school officials and recreation officials in the, the state of Michigan, well, any state, you can, but here in Michigan, if you're interested in becoming a sports official, and it doesn't matter what sport you're interested in, basketball, wrestling, volleyball, tennis, softball, baseball, football, it doesn't matter, go to the MHSAA website, Click the link on officiating. Find out how you can become an official. If you're a if you're a parent and your child is about to graduate, you want to stay involved in the game, get involved. If you're a young high school student, want to stay involved, get involved. My point, Tom. Yes. Get involved. Get involved. We need and, officials. And if you are a former athlete that you're no longer playing competitively, it's a chance to give back to your sport. And uh, we've had a lot of very very good. Uh, referees that uh, uh, have played college ball, maybe uh, high school ball, whatever level, but they understand the game, and they provide a great service. Three-pointer, count it. Jacob Stone, the junior, hitting a three-pointer, his second one of the night. Dow High back on top, 32-30, under three to go here in the third quarter. Stripped away, Midland able to recover. Martin Money drives in, now feeds it back up to Al Money. Three-pointer, top of the key, money to money. And back and forth we go, Midland High on top, 33-32, 2.40 to go in the third. The only way that could have been any better is if he had banked the ball. And for in the call, Isaac Molinar hits the three-pointer. It's now Dow back on top by two. Feitler nearly coming up with a steal and a jump ball. It's going to be called as uh, Martin Money takes that inside. Isaiah Bridges and Henry and uh, Henry Kessler will check back into the game for the Midland High Kimmick. Thomas Oakley will check back in for Dow High. Two-point Charger lead. Been a lot of lead changes. Pressure by Dow High, resulting in a turnover. Nick Siraki will come up with the steal. Molinar, back to Feitler, long three-pointer. That one is no good. Stone will get the rebound. Nick Siraki travels. John White will come back in for Midland. Now we mentioned the... Uh, Two coaches in the relationship that they have had for a long time. Eric Krause and Mark Dickerson have known each other. Mark was a JV coach at Midland High for several years before coming over across town and taking over the program at Dow High. These two talk all the time during the season. And uh, now they're battling with as opposing coaches in the city rivalry. Yeah, and, and they keep it in perspective. Pilgrim's shot is no good. Rebound by the Chargers. Reitler will work the basketball. Dow High looking to uh, set up the play with 90 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Oakley will work the ball around. Nice move by Stone, but he loses the handle on the basketball. Isaiah Bridges will come back the other way, and Stone committing a foul. When you're that far away from the basket, that is not the foul you want to commit. No, no it really isn't. And I'm not sure why Chichester isn't on the court. I thought he gave them a real spark. But uh, maybe they're uh, apprehensive about 
about the leg injury, just doesn't want to fatigue it. Well, I don't, I don't know that that leg injury is completely healed or anywhere near being healed, and that may be limiting the uh, amount of minutes Shai Chester can play. Al Money, three-pointer no good. John White will get the rebound. He goes back up and is blocked by Molinar underneath. A minute to go in the third quarter. Dow by two. That pass goes to nobody but Al Money. Bridges with the ball for the Kimmicks. Kessler to Pilgrim. Pilgrim picks up his dribble. Now to Bridges. Three-pointer. Too short. Goes out of bounds. Dow High will have the basketball and plenty of time to work with. 39 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Well, we're seeing a, a press now by Midland. See if they uh, can get the ball back or can Dow get an easy basket at the other end. On driving to the basket, and it's no good. Put back by Thomas Oakley. He will go to the free throw line. Midland wanted it over the back call, but the feet never crossed midcourt, and I don't even know if the ball, I mean, it was close, but I don't think the ball even went yeah. across midcourt. No, the ball got tipped by a player that had an established front court. That's uh, That was a good good no call. Oakley on the free throw line. The 6-3 senior. Martin Money will check back in for the Midland High Kimmicks. Oakley's uh, known for his rebounding for the Dow High Chargers, but he's also pretty good on the free throw line. Connects with both free throws. Dow High leading this game 37 to 33. 20 seconds to go, and Feitler coming up with a steal. Did he get a timeout? He did. That is a heads up play yep. by Ben Feitler, not only coming up with a steal, but Feitler also able to get the timeout to save the possession for the Dow High Chargers. And now Dow gets a chance with 18.6 uh, to work out uh, play. Uh, I, I don't know if they're going to sub anybody. It looks like they're going to go with the five that were out there. Uh, they'll, they'll get a chance to probably pound it inside and look for the easy shot or uh, get fouled and go to the basket or the free throw line. Into the Midland High huddle we go with the veteran coach, Eric Krause. 18 seconds to play in the third quarter. Dow High with a 37 to 33 lead over Midland in a game that has been back and forth. As advertised, as they say, we, yeah. we thought this would be the kind of game that we would see. Yeah, after uh, experiencing the, uh, the first game, Midland High, no stranger to overtime games. Inside, Chargers go to Oakley. Oakley, no place to go, and he travels. Well, now Midland High's got 6.5. A little bit uh, tougher um, task ahead of them. Which and, is plenty of time. And Dow is going to lightly press. Okay, the Not shot. I say a bridges, no good. I don't think that play was executed the way Midland wanted it to. Martin Money is not happy with his uh, teammates. The intensity coming through from the uh, from the senior leader in Martin Money. But nonetheless, the third quarter has come to an end here at Dow High. The Chargers with a 37 to 33 lead, and of course, we are a few weeks away, Tom. From the postseason, the boys' basketball districts this okay. year will be played at Mount Pleasant High School beginning on Monday, March 5th, where we will see a third showdown between the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Midland High will play Dow High on the opening night of the district. That will be the second game of the night at Mount Pleasant. The winner of that game will get the Oilers on Wednesday, and then the district finals will be March 9th in Mount Pleasant. So... And Mount Pleasant boys basketball team, Tom, pretty good. It's good. Yes, uh, I haven't seen them play, but I've heard about them. And uh, they're, they're tough. But, uh, you know, at this point, uh, Midland High would like to sweep down 
uh, this game and the next one, but uh, this game's close. We're, uh, we're four points away. Uh, we got Chichester back into the game for Dow High, which will stretch uh, Midland High's defense. Uh, they're putting Willis on Chichester. The Dow cheerleader from the Dow student section getting fired up for the fourth quarter. Martin Money may have just taken an elbow, but no call. And Midland High coming up with the steal on the other end. Al Money will hit the shot from the baseline. Two-point game. Dow with the lead just underway here in the fourth quarter. Chichester drives into the basket. That leg is not 100%, but Chichester has been driving well in the limited time that he has been on the basketball court. Alma blocks Chichester. That is Whoa. what he brings to the table. A huge block by Zach Chichester. He's got such great length that uh, I think Money thought that he had all the time in the world. Right now for Midland High, from our stats man, Willis uh, 10 points, Bridges 13, Molinar for Dow 13, and Stone has 11. Good move by Bridges, doesn't go through, and Garrett Willis on the putback attempt will end up going to the uh, free throw line for Midland High. Five team fouls against Dow, four team fouls against Midland High. Midland's been eight for 14 from the free throw line. Dow has been five for eight. Garrett Willis able to get the free throw to go. Willis is a man that if we go down to the wire, which we may be doing here, Tom, Willis is one of those players that Eric Kraus wants to have the basketball in the final minutes of this game. Well, it's either Willis or Bridges, one of the two, definitely. Dow High leads by two early on here in the fourth quarter. Nice bounce pass, but the basket is no good by Oakley. Good rebound by Willis. Down to the other end, Money feeds it to Bridges, counts the bucket. Nice passes on both ends, Isaiah Bridges able to get the shot to go. We are tied at 39, 640 to go in this game. I didn't think we'd get to 40 tonight with either team, but uh, uh, they're, they're scoring a bit more in the second half. Well, you know, Midland played a five overtime game earlier in the season. Maybe we can go six tonight. <laughs> We've got a foul that is called on the floor. At what point do the referees uh, ask for extra? <laughs> exactly. Not going to happen. The, 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 uh, how, how things go. And by the way, that is uh, the fourth foul. Isaiah Bridges becoming the first player to be in foul trouble as Eric Krause That's will big. call a timeout. Yeah, that is definitely big as... Isaiah Bridges, one of the key members of this uh, Midland High roster. Six and a half minutes to play in the fourth quarter of a tied up game, 39 to 39. We are glad you are with us. Jason Harper alongside Tom Bell, our stat man Jeff Yoder, and the Dow High cheerleaders. It will be no, uh, no question that Mark Dickerson is going to try to isolate some people to go one on one against Bridges. Now well, that's exactly what he's uh, drawing up right there inside the huddle with Mark Dickerson. You don't want to solely do that, but when you've got an opportunity, uh, you look and you can go one-on-one -on -one against him, for, force him to make the great defensive play. Each team has three timeouts remaining. Neither team in the bonus yet, but... As we mentioned, Bridges is in foul trouble, but he is still in the game for the Midland High Kimmich. Interesting. Yeah. Three-pointer no good by Siraki, but a great rebound by Sam Drake, who has entered the game for the Chargers. They've got Willis on Chichester right now. Mitchell Hayes working the ball. Hayes is close to 100%. He's been battling a back injury, and Drake... Driving in, but the foul committed by Pilgrim. Only the first one on Pilgrim, so Dow High will have the ball out of bounds. Ben Zeitler and Isaac Molinar will come back into the game 
That, by the way, is the sixth foul on Midland. So from here on out, the Chargers will go to the free throw line. Inbound to Zeitler. Tied up with six minutes to go in this Saginaw Valley contest. Molinar inside of Chichester, counts the bucket. The six foot six frame of Chichester working well, Dow High on top. And Midland's not used to having to contend here, uh, contend Chichester that close to the basket. Three pointer by Garrett Willis is no good. Bridges had his hand on the ball, rebound by Bridges. He kept it in play. The putback by White, however, is no good, and Stone will come away with the ball for the Chargers. Stone drives in, counts the bucket. No, they're going to call the offensive foul against Stone. No basket. I don't think Mark Dickerson is happy. You know, the Charger fans don't like that one. I thought he had called blocking to begin with. Oh, okay. I missed that one. So now everybody will be shooting from here on out. I think Mark Dickerson uh, thinks the ref missed that one. <laughs> Martin Money, and now Eric Kauf will call the timeout. Money was double teamed, no place to go. So Eric Krause will call a 30-second timeout with 5.06 to go. The scoreboard is showing Dow High with only five fouls. Now they fixed it. Okay. I thought it was six. Okay. 41 to 39, Dow High leading, 5.06 to go. And uh, the intensity of this contest picking up just a uh, just a little bit, Tom. We had a, a very subdued second quarter. Things started to pick up in the third, and now, uh, you know, here in the fourth quarter, a little more intensity being shown. Subdued. It was almost sleepy, you know. Not a lot happened, and uh, this didn't seem like we were going to get – uh, into the 40s. We might actually get into the 50s here before this game's over with. But we're looking at uh, Bridges having four fouls. Stone has three. So he can still play somewhat aggressively here in the, this quarter. Bridges goes underneath. Now we'll feed it out to John White. Counts the bucket. White getting the shot to fall through. We are all tied up. 41 to 41. 4.40 to go, and a turnover will give the ball back to Midland. Aggressive defense by the Kimmicks. Midland high, inbounds the basketball. Garrett Willis will work it across for the Kimmicks. Now to Martin Money. Money picks up the dribble, try to go inside the Bridges. The pass goes off kilter, and on the other end, Zach Chichester will be fouled hard by Garrett Willis, but that's a good foul. I think yeah. that's a good foul. They both went up about the same height. So the foul will send Zach Chichester to the free throw line. I don't know that Eric Kraus, there's a great shot of the conversation between coach and official. I'm not sure that uh, that Kraus is uh, along the uh, the same lines of thinking that that was. Uh, I, I thought it was definitely a foul, but yeah. I thought it was a good foul. Well, I think Kraus is a master at communicating with referees. Well, without I, showing I, the ball. I think we've got an issue with the basket because Mark Dickerson is out on the floor. The padding. The padding on the one side of the basket, if we can get a shot of the left-hand side of the basket, the padding yep. is off on the basket, and that is what the delay of, of it is. There you see on the left-hand side of your screen where the uh, the padding is no longer connected, and that is, uh, as a result, both teams go into the uh, – Doug out, and that is why the athletic director gets paid the extra money. <laughs> John Streeter climbing on up, trying to repair the padding. I'm, well, if it's repairable. I hope it's repairable. Look at Steve Poole on the far side taking a picture of John Streeter. Doesn't offer to help, but he, he takes the picture. That picture might show up at uh, a future retirement party. It very well could be. Yeah. 
Now, I don't know that it's perfect, but I don't know that it's going to be. Well, kind of a, uh, you know, almost like a media timeout or a, a free timeout yeah. to both of these teams because they had to uh, repair the side of the basket. Or taking time to look at the monitor, to, you know, but how many fouls is that for Willis? I've lost track. We will, uh, we've got our stat man on it. Two. Only two. See, He's quick. Fire another question. Jeff, okay. Jeff Yoder doing stats. He is, uh, <laughs> he's ready. He will. Chichester on the free throw line, able to get it to fall through. Limited time due to the knee injury, but the time that he has been on the floor, Zach Chichester has played very well for the Dow High Chargers. I would sense he's going to be quite sore tomorrow. Two-point Dow High lead, 43-41, to 4.25 to go here in the fourth quarter. John White with the ball. Martin Money works it over to Gary Willis. Willis open on the baseline, and a foul is going to be called. I think Chichester's block was clean. We'll wait to find out who the call was on. It was John Stone. Jacob Stone will pick up the foul. That is now four on Stone. So one player each direction finding themselves in foul trouble. Yeah. By the way, our thanks to uh, the... Uh, Dow High Booster Club, they just brought up popcorn for our uh, volunteer crew. You can't pay us money, but you can pay us in food, and we uh, readily accept that. So the so thanks to the Dow High Booster staff. Also, uh, go without saying, but thanks to Beth Whalen and the, uh, the faculty manager, or the facility manager here at Dow High. She probably takes care of the faculty, too, but Beth Whalen does a tremendous job, and we thank her as well. Bridges got a hand on the basketball, goes out of bounds. It will remain Dow High basketball. Now, looking at that popcorn, I would bet double butter. I, I think so. so. I think so. I'm grabbing some as soon as the game is done. <laughs> yep. Nothing better than double butter. Inbound pass goes to Nick Siraki. Now over to Ben Feitler. Four minutes to go in a tied ball game. Chichester drives into the paint. Beautiful move by Zach Chichester. He's a different, leading 45-43. He's, he's a different player than I've seen before. Motivated and playing well. Willis feeds it out to Al Money. Three-pointer off the mark. Isaiah Bridges the rebound. Put back Chichester with the block. Offensively and defensively, Chichester getting it done. On the other end, Oakley shot goes in and out. Midland will come back the other direction. A barn burner. Al Money with the basketball being guarded closely. Now John White will work the ball. Spin move by White. Triple team, and White will go to the free throw line. That foul will be called on Molinar. I believe the second one on Molinar. John White will go to the free throw line for Midland. Well, Krause is taking a risk having Bridges on the court uh, with four fouls. And Dickerson has got Stone on the bench with four fouls. So uh, a little different uh, thought process right now. Uh, they just hope that uh, Bridges is disciplined enough that not to pick up a fifth one. John White, steady scorer, able to hit both of the free throws for Midland. We're tied 45-45, just over three minutes to go. Dow High goes inside, back outside. Chichester driving in, reverse layup is no good. White will get the rebound for Midland. Kimmicks have a chance to take their first lead in the fourth quarter, but the shot doesn't go through. Everything but the bucket for White. Chichester down on the other end. Now to Feitler, and a timeout called by Mark Dickerson. 2.42 to play 
It's 45 to 45 in a tremendous contest here between Midland High and Dow High, two teams that went to overtime in December, maybe headed down that same path here in the beginning of February. The game reset, 2.42 on the clock, 45 to 45. Both teams are in the bonus. Both teams have two rebounds, the possession arrow in favor of Midland High. You know, and each team just can't shake the other one. You know, they get a little bit of a lead, and uh, tip ball, uh, breakaway layup, uh, and all of a sudden we're back tied 45-45. We're close to what the regulation when they played before. Uh, I don't, it was tied uh, was 49-49 or something like that when they played before over at Midland High. It was in the 40s, I remember. How about the free throw shooting for the Midland High Kimmick, 16 of 20 from the free throw line. And how about uh, Chichester, since he has entered the game for the Dow High Chargers, 11 points for Chichester. He did not play in the first half, so those are all second half points. Well, you know, Mark Dickerson talked about how he's been driving to the basket, and I don't know if that was on the, uh, uh, the, the scouting sheet for Midland High. They've, They've kind of allowed him to have some freedom going to the basket. That may end soon. Back to action we go. The now high chargers with the ball, working it around to Ben Feitler. Feitler feeds it to Molinar. Three-pointer is good. Isaac Molinar hitting the three. Dow High 48, Midland 45, 222 to go in regulation. Bridges working to Al Money. In for the call, in and out, no good. Rebound by Molinar. Jacob Stone with the ball, now to Siraki. Over to Chichester, three-pointer, that one no good. Garrett Willis will have the rebound, and a reach-in foul will be called. Yeah, you take the good with the bad, <laughs> Molinar's three-pointer. Rebound all good, but when you foul down on the other end of the floor, that not, as, not what uh, Mark Dickerson wants, and that will send Garrett Willis to the free throw line, shooting one and one. Yeah, it's such a temptation when you, we've got a chance to try to tie somebody up. but uh... And that's the third foul on Molinar, so okay. add his name to the foul trouble. Garrett Willis hits the first half of the free throw. Molinar should survive unless he's very reckless. Uh, he's got two minutes and with three fouls. But it becomes a whole new ball game if it goes overtime. Both free throws are good for Willis. Dow High has a one-point lead, and the Chargers, great job of staying in bounds by Ben Feitler. 1.50 to go. Chichester drives in, now goes back out to Stone. Three-pointer off the mark, Midland High. Garrett Willis gets the rebound. The Chemics have the chance to take the lead. 1.40 on the clock. Kessler working it around. Isaiah Bridges goes inside to Willis. From the elbow, shot is no good. Stone with the rebound. 90 seconds to play. One-point lead for Dow, and Mark Dickerson is going to call a timeout. Yeah. This is fun. This, this, this is, is drama. Second this half is tough. definitely picks things up the second half of this contest. Yeah, these are exciting games. Uh, you've got both coaches that are, are trying to get as much out of their players as they can. Here's Mark Dickerson pleading as far as being smart with the ball on offense and being aggressive on defense. And on the other end, Eric Krause a little bit calmer at the uh, present moment than what Mark Dickerson is. More calculating, we'll call it, okay? <laughs> Game reset, 127 to go. Dow High leading 48 to 47. Dow High will be, or Midland High, Midland High will be shooting two free throws from here on out. Dow High is in the bonus as well. The Chargers have one timeout. The Chemics have two timeouts. Midland High has the possession arrow. Willis for Midland, 16 points. Molinar for Dow High, 16 points. 
Our stat man is working overtime here. He is sliding numbers and names by us. Uh, he is earning that bag of popcorn. Chargers will inbound in front of their own bench. Ben Feitler with the ball. Eric Krauss wants Midland to play the perimeter a little bit more. Feitler, free throw line, now Chichester. Drives the baseline, bounce pass to Stone. Stone has the ball ripped away, out of bounds, off of Dow, Midland basketball. Mark Dickerson doesn't agree. Wow, okay. Dow had some good things going, just the ball didn't go in the basket. A great uh, strip underneath by Midland High. 105 to go. Chargers leading by one. Midland with the basketball. Looking to even the week, the uh, series to one. Dow won back in December in overtime. These two teams will also be meeting in the opening game of the district about three weeks away. 57 seconds on the clock. Dow High has the lead. Martin Money to Isaiah Bridges. Three-pointer. In and out, and it bounces over. Dow High will have the basketball. 46 seconds to go. And again, Midland is going to press. Eric Krause does not call a timeout. Chargers able to beat the press down. 40 seconds on the clock, and Martin Money forced the foul, and that will send Dow High's Nick Siraki to the free throw line. That's a good move. Siraki is a player that you want to foul. I don't know if he's been to the line tonight. Nick Siraki will be on the free throw line. Now Money will come back into the game for Midland. 39 seconds on the clock. Still a one possession game. And the one and one is no good. Isaiah Bridges with the rebound. Midland High's got a couple of timeouts. Krause choosing not to use them. Martin Money. Over to Garrett Willis, inside to Bridges, stripped away! Ben Feitler with a beautiful strip underneath! And Garrett Willis forced a foul with 24 seconds left. What a play by Feitler! Dow has had really quick hands in, in, in the congestion, and they've gotten a lot of good things throughout this entire game. Uh, and that was one time when Willis, or uh, when uh, Bridges just didn't know he was there. Now this game has been controlled by the defenses. And the first free throw by Soraki is good. And now Eric Krause is going to use a timeout. 24 seconds to play. Regardless of uh, whether or not Soraki makes this basket, it will be a, uh, a one possession game. Right now, yes. Dow High leading 49 to 47. From here on out, both teams will be shooting the double bonus. Both teams with one timeout. Possession arrow favors Midland, but the score favors the Chargers. I don't think when Midland comes down, they have to go for the three. Uh, they, they can go for the two, try to get a put back, and then play to tough defense to get the ball back or foul at that point, uh, but I don't think they have to have a three. If they uh, are given the opportunity, uh, they may be able to go right ahead uh, and attempt that. But uh, I think at this point, you're kind of looking at, oh, we'll go for the three at all count. And uh, uh, then Dow just runs out the clock with the fouls. A great weekend of sports here on MPS TV. Basketball, both boys and girls, hockey, Next week, we've got Northwood basketball on MCTV. A very busy and productive uh, couple of weeks. All helmed by staff and volunteers. On the free throw line, second shot is no good. Martin Money with the bucket. It's a two-point game. 20 seconds to go. Bridges across. 
John White, couple of dribbles, now to Martin Money. Money into the hoop, past the basket. Martin Money has tied it up. Ten seconds to go. Ben Feidler has the ball knocked away by John White. Five seconds, and Eric Krause. Did he get a timeout, or do we have a foul? Waiting to find out. The officials will get together on the right-hand side of your screen. Do we have a foul? Do we have a timeout? I think they're 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 talking to uh, to the uh, assistant coach. The question is, if the assistant coach, the JV coach, cannot call the timeout, the timeout has to be called by the head coach, and I don't think it was. Now. No, they're gonna say they're gonna say Eric did get the timeout. There was no foul. The timeout was called first. And both the both Eric Krause, Eric Krause was calling the uh, the timeout, as was some of the assistant coaches. So that is what uh, the question was. It had to come from Krause. But Krause was calling the timeout as well. Did it happen before the foul? And the official said the timeout was called. So what we have. Midland High using their final timeout. There are nine, there are nine, no, excuse me, there are four seconds on the clock. Four seconds to play. We are tied 49 to 49. I think this was regulation in the first game, tied 49-49. Uh, a repeat. I think, or 47-47, it was in the high 40s. Midland is out of timeouts. Dow High has one, but the ball belongs to Midland. Four a lot. seconds to go for the Midland High Chemics to try to win in regulation. If not, we are going to head to OT. There's a lot of pressure on the referees now. They, they don't want to call a Ricky Ticky foul in a situation that will determine this game when these kids have played so hard. Here we go, Midland High. Getting ready to inbound the ball. Four seconds on the clock. Chemex don't have a timeout. They've got to get the ball in. They do to Bridges. Fadeaway shot is no good. Tychester with the rebound. How about OT for the second time this year between these two teams? Chargers and the Chemex. Let's keep playing some basketball. Bonus basketball. Here we go. The... Uh, well, you know, it's a matter of you, you You had a very seasoned referee come over and uh, he had a really good look at the entire court. Um, it's really hard when you've got two things happening about at the same time and you have to kind of weed out which came first. You know, if the foul had come in first, then Midland would have been at the line uh, shooting a free throw with four seconds to go. Uh, I think that was I think the right they made call. a good call. Krause had been calling for the timeout for quite some time. The problem was, you know, it's nearly impossible to hear, you know, when you're concentrating on the play and listening and you got crowd noise and everything else. Yeah. Chichester for Dow High, 11 uh, points all in the second half. Molinar, the leading scorer for Dow High, he's got 16 points. Jacob Stone has got 11. For Midland High, Garrett Willis with 16 points. Isaiah Bridges, double-double for him. 15 points, 11 rebounds so far in the game. Four minutes on the clock. Well, right now, eight minutes is on the clock, so they've got to uh, fix that, which they do. Well, we, we like overtime, but, uh, you know, we don't want to start off playing eight more minutes. Stone and uh, Bridges still have four fouls. Midland High... Wins the tip-off, and Garrett Whitliff will look to drive in. Chichester coming up with a block underneath. Now, the one thing you've got to recondition yourself as a player in overtime is you're, you're under the pressure of the final minute of the game to try to win. Now, all of a sudden, you're back to playing four more minutes. You've got lots of time to make things happen. And don't they have an extra timeout? Yes, they do. Yeah. Mark Dickerson will have two timeouts at his disposal. Eric Krause has one. Possession arrow in favor of Dow High now as Isaiah Bridges hits the reverse layup to give Midland the lead. 51-49 Midland here in OT. 
That shot reminded me of another Bridges down in Spartanland. Nice little reverse. Chichester in the paint, fadeaway shot, no good. Molinar will get the rebound. Fadeaway shot, no good. Follows his own shot. Second shot is no good. Many attempts for Molinar and Dow High, but they come up empty handed. But those are hustle shots, you know. He's just beating everybody to the ball. Good for him. Bridges. Can't get the shot to go. Rebound by Mitchell Hayes. Two and a half minutes to play here in OT. Al Money coming up with a steal. But Chichester with the block from behind. Garrett Willis follows it up. Willis with the bucket for Midland. And almost, Money almost had another steal. Hayes working it over to Molinar. Now to Chichester. Midland leading by four. 2.15 to play in overtime. Stone goes into the page. The bucket and the foul. Stone will go to the free throw line. And was that on Bridges? And I believe, I, I didn't hear. It was. I think it was. It was, so. Oh, no. I don't think it was. Okay. Jeff, I, do we know who that foul was on? John White. Okay. Three-point play is good for Jacob Stone. It's a one-point game. Midland 53, Dow 52, 210 to play in overtime. Martin Money with the ball for Midland. Feeding it to John White on the baseline. Shot is no good. Chichester getting the rebound for the Chargers. Molinar will now work it to Zeitler. Zeitler to Mitchell Hayes. Hayes at the top of the key will work it over to Molinar. Molinar going baseline. Beautiful drive by Isaac Molinar to get the bucket to go through. And Dow High has their first lead of overtime. 54-53 Dow. 90 seconds to go. I didn't think there was enough room along the baseline for Molinar to get a shot up. And very interesting, Eric Krause is going to call his only timeout with a minute 27 to play here in the fourth quarter. That's surprising with a minute and 27 seconds. Uh, he, he may have a lot of confidence in Martin Money. You know, Martin Money is uh, kind of a coach on the court that uh, may be able to communicate through him because he's kind of the seasoned veteran. He's played varsity for four years now, and he kind of knows what, how Kraus thinks, and uh, he's been through a, a few of these. Come to think of it, the last time these two teams played. <laughs> but Money didn't play that. Uh, Martin Money didn't play that night, did he? That is true. Okay. It's been a great game, 127 to go in overtime. Dow High 54, Midland High 53. Both teams are in the double bonus. Dow High has two timeouts. Midland is out of timeouts. Possession arrow favors the Chargers. Midland High to inbound. Down by one. John White with the basketball for the Kimmich. Over to Al Money. Works it back to Garrett Willis. Willis drives into the paint and a foul is going to be called. It was on the floor. The basket does not count. Eric Krause thinks that it should. Krause is, is not happy that that foul was called on the floor. But are they giving him two shots? Well, it has or, to be. Or, or is this a double bonus? It's a double bonus. Okay. The, right. the call, the foul was called on the floor. Okay. Garrett Willis will go to the free throw line. We'll have to earn them the hard way. <laughs> and Willis hits the first free throw to tie it up. Eleven or one seventeen left. Second free throw 
If good as well. Millen High has the lead and a turnover. Martin Money coming up with a steal. Chichester is trying to get the foul, didn't get the call. The, Midland, bene the uh, benefit of a deflection. Midland ahead by one. A minute to go in OT. Chichester nearly had a steal. Dow High does not have to panic. There's still a lot of time, but Chichester does. He ends up sending Garrett Willis to the free throw line. Not sure that's what you wanted to do if you're Dow High. Well, he just left there, and he's feeling positive. So, Garrett Willis back on the free throw line for Midland. Last time these teams played, Dow won in overtime. Midland got the lead as it stands right now with 59 seconds to go. And let's not forget, these two teams will meet the opening night of the district on March the 5th. Well, there won't be any secrets. Two-point game, 56-54 Midland, 50 seconds to go. Molinar, three-pointer, count it! Mark Dickerson will get the timeout. Isaac Molinar hitting a big three-pointer with 40 seconds on the clock. He's really played a solid game. He has played you very know. well for the uh, for the Dow High Chargers, no doubt about that. And that took courage to take at that particular time. So the situation as it stands. 40 seconds to go, Dow High leading 57 to 56. Dow High's got one timeout, Midland is out of timeout. Possession arrow in favor of the Chargers. Well, I just don't think you want to foul at all. I think you just, uh, uh, you, you, you just hawk the ball, you know, on defense. And, um, you know, you might be able to swing somebody loose uh, for, for Midland on the offensive side, but uh, I think you just want to keep anybody from getting to the free throw line at this point. Well, I, I definitely uh, agree. I, I don't think you have to foul at this point. Nope. I think there's still plenty of time to play. Inbound the ball, Isaiah Bridges, who has played most of the fourth quarter and all of overtime with four fouls. Bridges has the ball now to White. 30 seconds to go. Dow High with a one-point lead. Al Money picks up his dribble, gives it to Martin Money. Inside to Bridges, spin move by Isaiah, and a foul called on Stone. That may be, if it's on Stone, that's it. And it is on Jacob Stone, and that is the fifth foul. Mark Dickerson doesn't like it. The Dow High student section doesn't like it. But nonetheless, that is the call. And Zach Chichester will come back into the game. Jacob Stone fouling out, and, a, and Stone played a tremendous game. Jacob Stone... Fouls out 14 points by Stone. Also had a couple of blocks and a great defensive game as well. Well, you know, uh, everybody looks at the hand on the ball, but uh, you just don't know if the foul came underneath. Bridges hits the free throw to tie it up. But I have a feeling that, that, that he got the hand. 20 seconds on the clock. Midland can take the lead, and they do. Isaiah Bridges hits the top, hits the free throw. Midland up by one. Mark Dickerson has a timeout, and he's going to use it. Dickerson will look to set up what, for Dow High, they hope to be a game-winning play. Midland High will have time to come up with the defense. They're hoping to maintain this one-point lead. 11, no, Excuse me, 17 seconds left here in the contest. It's a little hard to read at one end of the court. We've got a banner that cuts I'm, the time I'm, in half. 
I don't have a good look at the clock. I, I'm blocked by a banner on one end and the basket on the other end. So Okay. Well, I think Mark... Uh, I can see it on my television screen, though. There you go. Okay. We got it. Um, Mark is, is t telling his team that uh, uh, if they... Um, if, if they uh, get, get, got a foul um, at this point. Now, I, I, I've lost track. Who has the ball? Dow High has the ball. Okay, Dow, Dow High has the ball. If, if, if they don't score, they, they, they've got a foul. Isaiah Bridges, 19 points. Garrett Willis, 21 points. Bridges has a double-double. Molinar, 21 points for Dow. Chichester with 11. Stone with 14. Stone is on the bench. He's fouled out. There are no timeouts. Both teams are out of timeout. 17 seconds to go. Midland High has a one-point lead. Dow High has the basketball. Ben Feitler working the ball for the Chargers. We're Down to nine, 10. eight. Feitler from the elbow, top the bucket. Feitler giving Dow High the lead. Two seconds, one second. The shot by Garrett Willis is no good. Chargers win. The Dow students' hands are ready to explode for the second time this year. The Dow High Chargers have defeated the Midland High Chemics in overtime. Well, if you remember, Zeitler made the first basket of the game for Dow, and he made the last one. Mark Dickerson. Drew it up. I the wish... Dow High Chargers executed, and now the celebration is on at full force on the middle of the field. The students to celebrate. Somewhere in that mass of uh, players is our cam operator, Tom. Take a look at that. The embrace between two longtime coaches and friends, Eric Krause and Mark Dickerson. That was class. And that you know was... that Mark Dickerson Look, is going to be celebrating big time. And now Ben Feitler's the hero of the game. And yes, yes, indeed. Some happy Chargers that are on the basketball court right now. Ben Feitler hitting the game-winning shot at the end of overtime. And the Dow High Chargers sweeping Midland. 59 to 58, and these two teams will play on March 5th in the district. It's too bad we didn't have any excitement tonight, right? Now there's wow, gonna, there's, this was cool. There's definitely going to be some uh, some motivation when it comes, uh, you know, when it comes time for the uh, for the postseason. Indeed, and Feitler's being interviewed by uh, some members of the uh, the media as we speak. If we take a look. And some uh, final statistics of a wild boys basketball game here on MPS TV. Dow High, Molinar, 21 points and five rebounds. Zach Chichester with 11. Stone had 14 points. Ben Feitler, fourth in scoring, but he had the game winning basket in overtime. For Midland High, Isaiah Bridges with a double double, 19 points and 11 rebounds. Garrett Willis had 21 points in the game. He was the uh, overall leading scorer along with Molinar and Al Money finishing with eight points in the contest. They went back and forth, Tom. Everything that you would want from a high school basketball game is what we were able to witness here tonight. A defensive battle in the first half, some key scoring and some key plays coming up in the second half. And uh, in the end, Ben Seitler proving that he is one of the leaders that Dow High relies on, and he hits the game-winning shot. Yeah, and if you recall, in the last minute and a half, both coaches thought that they got robbed on certain plays. And it, it, it almost changed the complexion of the game, but I'm glad that the game was won on a clean shot that wasn't questionable. And I thought it was well officiated, but two intense coaches, obviously you're going to you know, get that during the course of the game. Definitely. It was fun, no doubt about that. It, it was, and I thought it was a class move where they, they embraced each other, the co two coaches, when the game was over with. Now, this game will air all weekend long. If you're just uh, tuning in and want to see that game in its entirety, 
It will be replaying uh, all weekend here on MTS TV. There's the playback times. We cover up Tom's face, but that's all right. Playback times, 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock at night on both Saturday and Sunday. Your chance to uh, to check out the – you got to be taller. It's, it's like, yeah. you're, like you're looking down at the, the uh, playback time. It's hard to be taller. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you for tuning in to high school basketball here on MPS TV. All kinds of fun. This game also available at high definition on the MPS YouTube channel. For all of our staff and volunteers, for my staff man, Jeff Yoder, for Tom Bell, my name is Jason Harper. The final score tonight, the Dow High Chargers 59, Midland High 58 in overtime. Thanks for watching High School Basketball on MPS-TV.